بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وقفا و سلام علی عباد اللہ نصطفا اما بار قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی فی الکلام المجید و الفرقان الحمید بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قال المجید قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی فی الکلام المجید و الفرقان الحمید انا خیر من ہو انا خیر من ہو خرختانی من نار و خرختا ہو من تین پھر مقام آخر کال اللہ تبارک و تعالی و اللہ لاحب اللہ بختال الفقور فی مقام آخر کال اللہ تبارک و تعالی ان اللہ لا حب اللہ مختال الفقو صدق اللہ مولانا العظیم و سادہ کا رسول النبی الکریم و نہن ولا ذال کمن شاہدین و شاکرین و الحمد للہ رب العالمین اللہ مسل علیہ سیدنا محمد و علیہ آل سیدنا محمد و بارک و سلم و صلی علیہ رب شرح علی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل تطم لسانی یف کہ قول رب ذدنی علم سبحان کا لا علم لنا اللہ معلم تنا ان کا انت العلیم الحقیم مائی موسٹ آلر بردر اینڈ سسٹر ان اسلام السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان میں پریویس خطبہ آئی ویر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ تزکیہ نفس اینڈ تزکیہ نفس ڈیل ود دا سکنیسز انٹرنل ڈیزیز آف دا ہارٹ دا بگسٹ انٹرنل ڈیزیز اسپرچل ڈیزیز از القبر ایروگنس پرائڈ سیلف پرائڈ تکبر دس از اے بگسٹ ڈیزیز دس واز اے فسٹ سین وچ واز کمیٹڈ ان دا ہیون اینڈ دا سیکنڈ سین وچ واز کمیٹڈ آن دا ارتھ واز بائی پروڈکٹ آف دس کبر واز جیلسی حسد دا دا سین آف کبر واز کمیٹڈ بائی شیطان وچ مینشن ان قرآن مجید آئی کوٹڈ آیت مبارکہ وین ہی واز آڈرڈ میک سجدہ ٹو آدم علیہ السلام آل اینجل ڈیڈ بٹ ہی ڈین ناٹ وٹ ہی سیڈ دا کویشچن وائی یو ڈین ڈو اٹ انسٹیڈ آف ہی سینگ سوری یا اللہ سوری نو ہی ڈیڈ اے سیڈ سوری سم ٹائم وی میک مسٹیک وی میک مسٹیک اے ٹیچر سے مامی ڈیڈی سے ڈیڈ یو ڈو اٹ کیپ سالم نو سے سوری ایمن That's very dangerous. We should accept the mistake. Instead of saying, sorry, Ya Allah, I was thinking something else. What he said? He answered back, Ana khairu minho. I am better than him. Now stop talking, but still continue the reason. He used his akal. He said, Khaktani minan nar. I have been created by the fire which go high. Wah lakta hu min thing. And Adam alayhi salam has been created by the clay. And nar is better than clay, dust. Because when I, when fire in vogue, it go up. And just go remain down. 
he made this mistake. We should accept the mistake. But he did not do it. Then what happened? He was cursed. And then he got the duty. He still continued. He said, give me some time now. Because Adam alayhi salam, I have been cursed. So I am his enemy, of course, his enemy. So his progeny, human being, I will misguide them. So I will try to take them to Jahannam also. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered back, okay, who will follow you? They will be with you. They will go to Jahannam with you. But the people who have sincerity, a khalas, who will believe in me, firmly have strong yakin and iman, and follow my prophets, they will not follow you. So now you see that? What is going on now? We, the people who follow shaitan, they don't obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And all crimes what are going on is because most of them are because of arrogance. Arrogance, anger, jealousy, all the same related. They have this park. In the Fazal Amal, if any anyone has iota of a little bit zarabar arrogance keeper in the heart that I am better than, he will not smell the fragrance of the paradise until that keeper is burnt up. And that because he's a Mormon. Eventually, Mormon will go to Jannah. But he has this problem of arrogance, disease. So that will be burnt up in the Jahannam for a while. And then he will be taken to Jannah. My brother and sister, we cannot afford Jahannam even for one second even. May Allah SWT save us from this worst disease. Check yourself. I check myself. Do I think I am better than my wife? Better than my employee? Better than my student? Better than my muktadi? Do I think? Even I think better than kufar. In one sense, I am better than kufar because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at this moment blessed me with Iman. I should be proud of that. But again, I cannot guarantee about my Iman. Hazrat Mawla Ashraf Ali Thalmi Rahmatullah you to say, eh tasaban sabab ke lahaz se, I think every other person, every Muslim is better than me. He's a great mujaddad, great alam, great musaffar, mufassir. He says, I consider every Muslim is better than me. And even, ihtamalam, perhaps I also think every kafir is better than me. Why? Maybe tomorrow their kafir become Muslim. By evening he become Muslim. And I cannot guarantee about, about my Iman and Islam. You understand? Sometimes we just say, hey, hey Christian, hey, you going, don't say it. Don't say it. We should be very, very careful. So what's the definition of that? When person think I am better than other person. How? Physically. Person is, go to the gym, 
some students go to gym, they make the muscles. Then they walk like this, huh? hitting this, hitting that. Huh? Their arrogance. Their arrogance. And some people got knowledge. They think, oh, I got knowledge. I am Maulana. I am a big sheikh. Mashallah, I have so many thousand students. I am Maulana. Huh? No. Let me tell you, the ulama are more hum- most humble. You will find the all ulama. They are humble. Because, let me tell you, ilm create the kibar. Every good deed create the kibar. You people become half the Quran. Never think, oh, I am half better than person. He did not even read Quran. No. This is a father of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am half his. This is a father of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am Allah. One second, this is my mind who has ilm can go like this. I have no guarantee. So therefore, we should be very, very watchful. Now what are the signs? The person who is arrogant. What are the signs? I check yourself. I check myself. Normally, the person who is arrogant, he is rough in talking. When he talks, his speech is high. He quarrels. His fighting kind of quarreling habit. If you give the advice to person, if he is arrogant, he will not accept. Arrogant person Mutkabbar person will not accept your advice. You understand? You know, Pharaoh, Musa Salam went to him. Pharaoh is the biggest example in a human being. Shaitan, first big example, and second, Big example in the dunya is a pharaoh. Bigger mutkabbar. Namrud. Shaddad. Even nowadays some rulers of certain country, they are arrogant. Some khulfa who were king later on, like Hajjaj ben Yusuf, he was most arrogant Khalifa. He was governor. He killed thousands, thousands of Muslims for nothing. If anybody complain about any person that he talk against you, call him, chop of the head. Millions he killed. Because of his arrogance. The person who is arrogant, he expects people respect me. Even I may not respect her. He expects people respect me. The person who is arrogant, he accepts people give me salam first. Understand? Never accept people come salam alaikum. No, no, no. You should do salam first. This is a sign of humbleness. Sign of humbleness. Do salam first. Don't expect service from other. This is a sign of arrogance. Who expect that dusre log meri khidmat karein. Ni samjhe. This is a sign of the arrogance. And the person who is arrogant, his character is not good. Bad behavior. Bad in talk. Bad tongue. And he will always debate. Advise something. He will always debate. He will always try to prove himself I am the correct person. I am right. Even his inner self say you are wrong. But he continues to know I am right. You are wrong. He does zulm also. 
person who is arrogant i gave you example of hajjaj bin yusuf sab husband do zulm on the wife also <laughs> but some wife but they are less in number the wife from america she got husband from pakistan now she is arrogant minority yes i got you i marry i got you visa now you became citizen ha huh? they talk like this way now you have to obey me this is america i should not have bring to you from uh, pakistan no this arrogance may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from this disease some say oh i am cocker i am bhatti oh yeah this disease in pakistan not in arab country <coughs> all farmers think better themselves than the barber yes or no this is disease in india pakistan and bangladesh <coughs> i am the manager you know that i am the manager the manager talk this way no this is sign of arrogance okay allah has made you manager okay allah gave you good health okay allah has given you good ilm okay you are alim you are mufti mashallah thank allah subhanahu wa taala don't be self proud no never and the such person are so jealous some people you say they have a good job because of good job they become arrogant no everything every blessing what we have been given is a blessing of allah subhanahu wa taala not by my own what should we do now how we should if you, we have such disease how should we do that what the ilaj kibar ki bimari ka ilaj kya hai first i should think what happened to faraun he was arrogant what happened to shaitan what happened to namrud what happened to ajaz bin yusuf what happened ha huh? so think about their end and think your beginning what you made of dirty two drop of water this is beginning man <coughs> what is my beginning gande pani ka katra meri ibtida hai and end result i'll be in the grave right this body in the grave and the worm kide will eat it, eat it up don't walk like akar kar with arrogance on the you cannot press the land go in the land you cannot touch the heaven be cool when you walk we should make salat with khushu the person who makes salat with khushu sajda salat will help you to lower the degree of your arrogance do shukr to allah subhanahu wa taala more you do shukr then more you become humble and this is a one of the best solution of the arrogance of the disease of arrogant kibar agar kibar ki bimari hai zyada se zyada shukr kare shukr will make you humble then we should do lot of istighfar because istighfar we do when we do commit a sin right so we should do lot of istighfar istighfar make you humble do lot of zikr allah read quran e majid help the poor people help the poor people it will make you more humble try to make salam first to the people understand when you walk down some anywhere come from the masjid anywhere what you do give salam first understand 
God expects help of other people. It will create the humbleness. We should do our tasks and jobs, clean the diseases of the heart. Let me tell you, if we are too much arrogant, you need some sheikh, some alim din, who is expert of this area. You understand here? Even all our ulama ekram, they have their mashaikh to keep. their soul free from these kind of spiritual diseases so we should be very careful we should do khidmat of the other do khidmat of the masjid come early clean the masjid if there is some program serve the masjid service will help you to lower the degree of the kibar if you if you clean the masjid clean the bathroom molana ilyas abrahamullah lai who started the program of tablighi jamaat people found him in the nizamuddin markaz in the night time when people used to sleep He used to clean the bathroom. That's the one of the best medicine. Sometimes down there, clean the bathroom. Understand? Yes. Yes. It will help you. We should do muraqaba. Muraqaba of Allah, Allah, Allah. When Allah will come in the heart, then what will happen? Shaitan go away. More zikr Allah will make you humble. Some home, serve your family. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I give you few examples. Then I close. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at home. He was like a normal person. He used to milk the goat. He used to help his, their wife clean the house. Subhanallah. Even one time, so Haba Karam was somewhere outside. So I was ready for preparing the food. Some bringing this, some bringing that. Papa said, "Wait, I will go bring some woods." Allah Hafiz. Prophet saw a lady in the street carrying a bag. He carried the bag. Had Umar Farooq read Allah Taala na ho. When he was Khalifa, he used to take a a pot of water. You help me the paper and serve the water to the people in the street. Abu Hayra read Allah Taala na ho. When he became governor. Now what he did? Abu Huraira, the Allah Taala know when he became governor, he used to go bring woods from the jungle himself, make the bundle, put on the head, and walking in the street of Medina, he is a hey, give me the way, Amir of Medina, Abu Huraira, Amir of the Medina coming, give me the way, look here. Carrying the bundle of the wood, he is governor of Medina and walking in the street of Medina. This is the example Sahaba Karam gave to us. Siddiq Akbar Azizi Allah Taala knows. He used to say, "I wish I should have been a satra. Kaash ke main ek din ka hota." काश की मेरी माँ ने जना ना होता आई शुड हैव बिन बोर्न इमन मेक इज सो सो हम्बल वंस हजर अली करम जो वो न्यू शर्ट यू नो न्यू शर्ट 
it look very nice so he felt inside something very good right so he got the scissor then his shirt he cut this the local little bad look little bad you know he took it enough so became happy he took it that to so conclusion advice to me and you please we should check ourselves am i not arrogant are you told if i am think i am better than other this is a sign of the arrogance and when we have arrogance we cannot become obedient understand especially students sitting over here you should be more and more humble more and more humble to the teacher more and more humble to the parents when we disobey mom or dad or teacher it means i am suffering from the disease of arrogance be watchful help mother help father help teacher help the fellow students don't bother other we only bother other weak person when i am thick i am stronger than him who gave you strength allah subhanahu wa taala that he can take away back also be watchful so my respect brother elder that may allah subhanahu wa taala save us check yourself check i give you homework now evening time check your family as your wife and do you think i am arrogant tell truth honey tell truth don't feel shy i am not be angry am i sometime i think better than you if say yes then take care of yourself <clears throat> in the vice versa women also especially pretty pretty women oh boy they are more arrogant a bigger job person the doctor molana be watchful so we should keep check at the time of death we should not have an iota of arrogance hamare maut ke waqt hamare dil mein rati bar bhi kibar nahi hona chahiye ki main dusron se acha hu very dangerous and maut ka pata nahi kab aa jaye we don't know when the angel of death come they should from today let's please i was arrogant sometime and you might be let do toba now say with me please astaghfirullah we speak up astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli zambin wa atubu ilai astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli zambin wa atubu ilai astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli zambin wa atubu ilai ya la if i were arrogant any time in the past history please forgive me from today this minute i'll be more and more humble and more more over service able to the other and i will think every body is better than me akhir damana an alhamdulillah rabbil alamin jazakallah khair mek sunna